Hello David, it's great to speak with you today. How did you become involved in pharmaceutical marketing? Well, uh, we are a company that specializes in benchmarking the resources and activities of pharmaceutical companies. Brand marketing is certainly one of the areas where companies seek out a tremendous amount of benchmarks. So we produce many reports that focus on that space. How important is it for pharma to have a successful marketing strategy? Uh, certainly choosing the right marketing strategies is critical. Uh, pharma companies invest a tremendous amount of time and money on all the little choices that make up a product's branding. Um, having it right from the get-go is also essential. Uh, companies will never recapture that level of interest and curiosity uh, that goes along with the launch of a new product. So getting things right out of the gate is certainly going to be important. So how can pharma bridge the gap between research and development and marketing in early drug development? Well, there are actually commercialization people working with brands all the way through their development at many pharma companies. Uh, most companies now have commercially focused teams that escort brands even from the earliest stages of development all the way through phase three. Um, at phase three, the products are generally handed off to the brand management teams that would take them through launch. Um, these early com commercialization teams uh, do do a, a great deal of forecasting and analyzing early on uh, to help make the go, no-go decisions, as well as shape what will become the marketing strategies for the brand moving forward. In today's competitive marketing space, how can companies make sure their brand strategy is above the rest? Well, that really comes down to the brand itself. Uh, marketers supporting a superior product will certainly have a much easier go of it than those supporting less innovative brands. Um, but even with superior products, though, marketing people need to choose their messages carefully, hitting the right areas that they see as most concerning to their targets, be that the physicians, the patients, or the payers. What marketing activities will return the most investment for pharma companies? Well, that really depends on the brand as well. Uh, lifestyle drugs, for example, lend themselves to a lot of DTC advertising. Uh, drugs with complex modes of action might benefit from an increased spending on educating physicians. So the right promotional mix for one brand will rarely be the exact same for another, so it's really choosing that mix depending on your own brand. What are some of the main challenges for pharma marketing teams, and how can these challenges best be overcome? Well, certainly one challenge is that there are a lot of great products now going generic. Uh, how do you market a, a branded Statin, for example, against generic Lipitor, which is a brand that millions of people have been taking successfully for years now. Uh, also, the Internet has been a major big picture change for, uh, by providing greater access to health information to patients than ever before. Managing online channels like discussion boards and social media is extremely tricky, and a lot of companies are still building their strategies there. Uh, more concrete rules should make the Internet a more constructive tool for pharma marketing in the future, though. Are there any differences, perhaps either in strategy or attitudes, between the marketing space in the U.S. and the rest of the world? Well, in the U.S., companies still concentrate heavily on physicians and even patients with much of their marketing efforts. In other countries, we've seen it go much more towards the payers. Um, in the U.S., though, we are starting to see much more focus being put on the payers as well, however. And how do you see the pharma marketing space evol um, evolving throughout the next decade or so? Well, as I said previously, payers are going to continue to become more and more important when it, when it comes to marketing efforts. Um, companies are going to continue to spend more money and time seeking approval for their products from these groups. Uh, health outcomes and effectiveness, which used to be pretty specialized concepts, could become central themes in pharma pharmaceutical marketing because of this. Thank you for your time today, David. Thank you very much.